like it. It would be silly. Look at all this. It's all trash. Trash! I don't know why I thought I could ever make something worthwhile with all this junk. <laughs> hey, Pin. Ooh, what is this stuff? Oh, are you making an invention? No. It's just a bunch of old junk that's no good for anything. <laughs> Where are you going? The dump. Yes. Why did I even bother? Such a waste of time! He must have inventor's block. The uh, pin, wait up. Can't you use this stuff? Uh, like this cool thing, for example? No. Could you please put it back? Check this out! It looks awesome! It's garbage! Huh? Uh, how about this? Cool, huh? Junk! This one? No! Look at me! No! What about this? Don't you want it? Think of the uses! No! Dump it into pile with the rest of it! sure you could use it for something. Oh, yeah. This is one of the best things I've ever seen. Will you tell us what it is? Yeah, sure. Hmm. This was my happiness machine. For real? Well, it would be if it ever worked. So you would aim it at someone Whoa. like a guy like this and BAM! He's happy forever! Sounds great, right? <laughs> Missing. A very important piece. What, what is it? Does it look Will like? it work if is you it had here it? in huh? the dump? Tell us! <laughs> it's here somewhere. It rolled away from me. It's a green ball about this big. It has holes in it. There's a chance that we might be lost. It's all right. We'll be okay. You just have to bring Pin that part. He'll finish the machine, and we'll be three happy guys. Happy right about now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
been looking all over. I'm so happy that I found you. Huh, don't ever do that again. When I realized you were lost, I quickly put together this robot to give me a better view of the dog. This place is humongous. You never could have covered it on foot. It's so cool. Yeah, well, it came in handy. Wait, it just fell out. Uh, what did? The part, the part that we found. We have to go back for it. Pin needs that. Ah, uh, haven't we found that happiness doesn't come from a machine? I bet you'd be happy with a blanket and a cup of hot cocoa right about now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I think I threw my back out. I've had it too long. I should have thrown it out long ago. Uh, 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 what did you expect for someone your age? <laughs> you can't just go around jumping like you used to. Uh, uh, what do you uh, mean, uh, your age? Uh, hold still. Yeah! I don't agree to age. I won't accept it. And that's that. Yes. I refuse. Oh, well, what are you going to do then? I don't know. Not yet. I will not put up with it. I, I, I will find the elixir of youth. What? The elixir of youth? <laughs> and just where are you going to find it? <laughs> what a dreamer. <laughs> ah, ow! Oh, my back. Uh, let me help you with that. Ah! <laughs> About that elixir of youth, where do you think we should start looking for it? The elixir of I <laughs> almost there. Shake it. Is that enough? <laughs> it says here that the cones should be small and unopened. <laughs> and all you knock down are big open ones. You would think the least you could do is. Hold on, I think I see one. Bend the branch down a little. I love the game. Wow! What's next? On the list. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The seaweed has to be green for the elixir, but all these are just as blue as you are. Go back. Uh, right. Green, not blue. <laughs> You stay here. <laughs> Warm up while I go for a dive. What is it with youth today? Don't they get tired? I get tired just watching them. How much further? We need a cup of mountain honey. We'll keep climbing. Until we find some mountain honeybees. Don't bother. I think they found us. Ah, just enough for one cup. Oh! Time to go! Ah, no, no, no. Ah. Ah, run! Oh! <laughs>
Second it cools, I lose another year of my life. <laughs> this is disgusting. I can't drink this. <laughs> Maybe we can dilute it or something. Rub it. Twice a day. Morning and night. <laughs> it's just a cream. Cream? Wrinkles? This is not the elixir of youth. It's just a cream that takes away your wrinkles. You were right. There's nothing we can do about our age. It is what it is. And we are what we are. There are some advantages to being older, you know. However, we haven't figured out what they are yet. And do you want to know why? Uh, why? Because you and I are just not old enough. <laughs> <laughs> Who could it be at this hour? <laughs> Darko, you're trembling. Please help me. Ben, you have to help me. He's right behind me. I don't know how he found me. <laughs> Please, Ben, you have to help me. <laughs> Please calm down now. So who found you? The clone. <laughs> Not many people know that when I was young, I was trouble. I was an impulsive and arrogant punk. I was so cantankerous that I had no friends. And of course, I was lonely. But I had talent, knowledge, and the key to the biology room. I decided to clone myself in secret and created my copy. I hypothesized that he would be as much of a rascal as I was, and I wasn't disappointed. I got the friend I deserved. Believe me, the two of us were quite the pair. I don't wish to recall all the terrible things we did. Horrible. So bad. But in time, I realized it's silly to be a nasty rascal. And on the contrary, being intelligent and kind is the best way to live. But the clone didn't agree. He harassed me and my new friends, demanding that we slide back down the slippery path into rudeness and savagery. I had to hide from him and eventually mm. lost him for good. However, today, all these years later, when I forgot about him entirely, he comes back to haunt me still more. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Where is he? At my place. <laughs> ah, brought your friend, I see. Nothing left to eat, so... Eh, <sighs> uh, listen, I'm here to ask you to please... Get lost. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> He's funny. I'll call you... Pinocchio! <laughs> All right, morons. Let's go turn things upside down. <laughs> First off, I'm not a moron. I'm a scientist. 
Secondly, Dweeb, listen here. Zip it. I really don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> Timber! I can't bear such shame. I should pack up my things and move out. Everyone else shouldn't suffer because of me. Line, don't do that. There's another way. I have an idea. Once he's on the boat, we'll turn on the autopilot. I'll set the course for one of the ports in my hometown. When he gets there, they'll knock some sense into him. He'll be reformed in no time. He won't trouble us ever again. Your job is to just keep him happy for now. Keep who happy? Me? <laughs> Pinocchio, and I thought we were friends. I am not your Pinocchio clone boy. I told you I'm a scientist. And you, you're a vicious, rude, uncivilized rascal. Daco, <laughs> we should teach this traitor a lesson. You should just get out of here. Isn't there somewhere else in the world big enough for someone like you? Did you forget? I am you. You are the one who made me this way. But long ago, I changed my ways. I would have hoped that over time, you might have changed too. But no, you're still writing on fences and breaking windows, you hooligan. <laughs> hooligan, huh? Well, I'll show you what the years have taught me. I am going to do such a nasty thing right now. You'll never forget it. <laughs> 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 That's fine. They'll straighten him out over there. Well, I don't know about that, Dweeb. We're both kind of stubborn. <laughs> And action! A giant meteorite! Or a meteor, I don't know, anyway, whatever. It's a huge space rock flying a zillion miles per hour! Chico, you're the first lonesome traveler to ever set foot on this incredible space rock thingy! You've traveled ten billion miles in your ship, and you're walking around on the surface. Ahem, <clears throat> I said walking! You're all alone exploring the vast, uh, vastness. And you're having an awesome time. I said an awesome time! There you go. But wait! Oh no! The explorer isn't alone! Could it be a hostile alien? It is! And he's extremely aggressive! This means danger! Our explorer brings out his mode of self-defense! Yeah, yeah, that one! Just as he readies his weapon, the meteor suddenly flies into a dangerous radioactive storm! Oh, it's shaking things up! Ah, oh, wait, that's just the film messing up! Excuse me! I asked for a storm! I can't work under these conditions! Who's in charge of special effects? There might be a problem. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Fine. Everyone take five. A soft five. Be good now. Action! My totally spaced out life, take 12. Got to hand it to Pin. These effects are something. Where's that robot who plays the monster? Oh, 
gross, 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 gross. Pew, pew. Pew? <laughs> Pew. No need to worry, but I might have lost our robotic actor. I can't get a signal from him in this form. Uh, I'm more worried about Chico. Why can I not see my star? That's my fault. You asked me to make real fog, so I made it. Ah, well. Ah, great. Yoo-hoo! something. Day 20. No further signs of intelligent life. I'm light years away from everyone I know, which is probably fine since they got me into this mess in the first place. Pew, pew. This is the last time I do a movie for Crash, really. I just wish I was home. Chico, it's about time. Hey, where you been? <laughs> the fog totally ruined everything we tried to shoot. <laughs> so we'll have to move the part where you find a confusing celebrity cameo on Mars to tomorrow. <laughs> uh, where's our place in the universe? <clears throat> Beats me, I don't know. But it's just as fun here as it would be anywhere else, right? <laughs> If you think about it, we're all kind of space explorers, flying away on our own tiny meteor. The only difference is that none of us have any kind of script. Or laser, I guess. Nature. Something's wrong. What is it? Huh? I think my bristles are all falling off. They're thinning. Now oh, come on. Why are you so worried? I don't have any bristles. Here. 
Uh, I've never had them. And I have an awesome life. like it always is. Oh, wait, no! Chico's bristles are falling out! You don't say. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a bald hedgehog in my entire life. <laughs> I know! When did it start? No idea. Chico! <laughs> ha! You don't look so bad. <laughs> I thought you'd be totally bald. <laughs> Show me that tuft, will you? No, thanks. I'll have a look and see how your bristles are falling out. Maybe you ate something. They are not falling out. They're not falling out? Well, Crash said that. Uh, you, uh... Oh, well, Crash, huh? His tongue's like a brook, because it's always babbling. Mm. You know, Barry, I'm a very busy hedgehog. It was nice seeing you. Mm. Crash, would you mind a moment of your time? I told you that I had the most delicate of problems. But you, you told everyone. I thought you were my friend, but huh? you're a blabberer. But Chico, what's wrong? I will never be able to trust you with anything. Never again, because your tongue has no bones. What'd I do? What's the point of having friends if we can't discuss each other with each other? No bones? Uh. Hey there, Chico! How are you? I don't even know what to tell you. What if I don't want everyone to know how I am? What if I don't feel like sharing anything about myself? You tell the truth. You never know what people are going to say about you. That's why it's better to talk about something else. Like the weather. The great weather. There's no wind. Oh, the sun. The sun. Isn't it great? <laughs> Maybe you should go and find some shade. You've had too much sun. Uh, same old tongue. No bones. Why would my tongue have bones? Uh, it shouldn't have any. Oh, ow, my tongue. There he is. Poor little thing. Patient, prepare yourself. We're going to examine you <laughs> to see what's falling out and what's not. Well, let's see. Look up. Good. Wonderful. Open your mouth wider. Wider. Like that. Good. Good. Well, what a tail you're spinning. You've been far too worried. He's a healthy hedgehog. If there is anything falling out of him, well, it's beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just great. It was nothing, and he told everyone. Oh, hey, wait, guys. Did you see that? Oh. If you must tell everyone about everything, here's some news. Today, I skipped a pebble over the water 20 times. Please, go and tell anyone you wish. Mm, I don't think I'll be telling anyone, Chica. You what? What's wrong with you? I bit my tongue. When it shouldn't, your tongue never stops wagging. When it should, nothing. <laughs> Does it hurt? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Will you tell us when it heals? I don't want anyone to know. Of course. Don't worry about a thing. 
It's our secret. Ah, my oh. bones. <laughs> Gather round. It's time to get started. Hey. Uh, 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 hi there. Now then. We need state-of-the-art rest and recreation facilities. It's time we build our very own amusement park. Yeah! <laughs> All right. All right. Slide, please. We'll have swings, merry-go-rounds, a fun house, and a house of... Pancakes? No. <clears throat> a house of horrors. But there's really nothing horrible about it. It'll be just like the fun house, but there'll be a different kind of fun. But for right now, I shall assign tasks to each one of you, and we'll start on them tomorrow. Chico and I can work on the house of... horrors. <laughs> but, uh, what do you mean by different kind of fun, Carlin? That means right before you start laughing, you're a little scared. Where do I put it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Where does this thing go? Mm -hmm. So what about this thing? Anywhere in particular? Oh, where? Ah, so how's it going? We have a couple of good ideas. They seem really scary too. But we're not really sure if it's funny enough. Well, let's find out. Well, ain't that a stinger? Where am I supposed to put this thing? All right, then. Picture this in your head. Visitors walk in and see absolutely nothing, except this old picture of Chico. The picture itself is funny and a little scary, but that's not all. As the visitor comes in for a closer look at the picture, we jump out from behind and scare him. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should try it out on a guinea pig. What do I have to do? Don't worry, they'll tell you. Uh, guys, I hear you need someone to help you. Hello? Where are you? Oh, Chico. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sleepy. <laughs> like he got up, but forgot to wake up. <laughs> Who can have made such a weird portrait of him? <laughs> what a klutz. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's so scared! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, was it funny? Very funny. <laughs> yes, it's approved, boys. <laughs> We're still gonna have to come up with something else, though. <laughs> Carlin, listen to me. I think all our construction woke up all the ghosts that are around here. Just relax. Ghosts don't exist. You probably won't believe it, but I've seen them with my own two eyes. What you saw <clears throat> was just Crash and Chico dressed in costumes. But don't spoil the surprise for everybody else. Uh, yeah? And what about this one? Oh, <laughs> it's their new idea. You like it? Crash! Chico! What's up, Carly? Uh. I told you we woke the ghosts up. Let's get out of here!
we did finish our project ahead of schedule, so we decided to help out Crash and Chico by creating these monsters for the House of Oz. Well? <laughs> What do you think? We used all of the latest technology in these. Do you approve? No, no, and no. It's not approved. It's scary. Not funny. Yeah. Why on earth would anyone want to go to a carnival? Oh, they have are rides that go around in circles, games you can never win, and it's such a waste of time, it's almost criminal. Yeah, wouldn't you rather go to the theater? I could perform my poetry for you. I have a new one about a genius poet. He has all the answers to life's mysteries, but no one will listen to him. It's a tragedy because his friends are all so lowbrow that they couldn't possibly appreciate his brilliance. <sighs> Yes, that looks quite nice. Oh, yes, that looks wonderful, quite wonderful. Honestly, what's the point of all this? This mirror shows me nothing meaningful about the human condition. It's just not real. I look like cotton candy with stumps for legs and great big googly eyes. Is this what passes for humor around here? It's sad. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> you look like a fluffy pink pancake. <laughs> That's not funny. Not at all. Believe me, if you were that misshapen in real life, you wouldn't be making with the tee-hees and the ha-has. <sighs> Don't bother. It's useless to try and explain it to him. Wally doesn't have a funny bone in his body. That's another thing. Why do they call it the funny bone? There's nothing funny about that either. This mirror is pointless. And not funny. If you make a face for too long, can it freeze that way? I never make funny faces. This is all your fault, you and your mirrors. Your not-so-funhouse cast a spell on me. No, oh, why me? Why is it always me? I didn't even want to go to the carnival. I wanted to have a poetry slam. No, oh, my poor heart. <laughs> If you think the mirrors in my funhouse did this to you, then maybe if you look in the mirror again, we can reverse the spell. <sighs> oh, look, you're back to yourself again. Ah, you, you did it. I'm cured. Hmm. 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 <laughs> you're a poet, aren't you? It's okay, don't cry. You can embody <laughs> your work. Now you're avant-garde and <laughs> very abstract. <laughs> Maybe if you get some rest and drink fluids, you'll get better soon. So I should take two aspirin and call you in the morning? Does this look like the stomach flu to you? That's the worst advice I've heard all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Phew! I am so glad I brought my umbrella! It's raining cats and dogs out there! Huh? Metaphorically speaking. Wally? Hello? Wally? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so bent out of shape. This doesn't have to be a bad thing. Look at it this way. When life gives you lemons, start a lemonade stand. We can totally make use of your new condition. You think so? Of course I do. Have you ever 
ever been out walking and said to yourself, Wow, my legs are so tired. But you couldn't find a single place to sit? Just push this here and then that there. Voila, a chair. Don't you hate it when your closet is so full that your dresses get all wrinkled? Well, when you're here, wrinkles are a thing of the past. Or imagine that I want to bring my jewelry collection to a friend's house. That'd be impossible. I only have two hands. But with you, the problem's solved. This goes here, that goes there. Perfect! What a great friend you are! Is that all I am to you? A piece of furniture? A doll for your amusement? How could you make me suffer this indignity, Rosa? My body may bend and stretch in unnatural ways, but I still have the soul of a poet! If you tickle me, do I not laugh? If you insult me, do I not weep? Don't I deserve better than being made into a coat rack? Wow, that's some dream he's having. Eh? He complained all the way up the hill about having to help, but then he went and took a nap. <sighs> it was a dream? It was a dream! <laughs> Oh, I'm not a chair, or a puddle, or a hanger for dresses. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm me. Marvelous me-shaped me. That was a funny dream. <laughs> but what was the point? <sighs> Some people have all the luck. They have these great abilities. See through walls, move objects around with their mind. <sighs> it's so unfair. Dreadfully unfair. I feel like I'm an extraordinary girl inside. I just don't have extraordinary abilities. It's just a silly dream. <sighs> What's that smell? I can't believe what I'm seeing! It's definitely an unidentified phenomenon! Rosa! Extraordinary! Who? Uh, A person uh, with extraordinary abilities! I've been looking for you everywhere. Uh, uh, would you like to go swing on the swings? I can't go. Why not? Oh, don't ask. You wouldn't understand. We unique, um, unique. Oi, uh, uh can't you see that we with extraordinary abilities can't be understood? We are so extraordinary. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't you know it? Just when you're ready to save the world, no one is threatening it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are you two up to now, huh? Just a little son. This tree fell down. <clears throat> it was during last night's storm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Stand back. Watch this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Build it! 
That's oh. one way to do it. Rosa, thank you. <laughs> Why are you hiding? I'm here to help you. Uh, we'll come out later. <laughs> and you run, 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 run out of charge. Uh, huh. <sighs> <laughs> Barry, what's wrong? Mm, I know your game. If you want something, just take it. Really, take my watermelon. I don't want anything. Just calm down. I beg you, please leave me. Why are you all afraid of me? that? A rubber suit. It doesn't conduct electricity. I feel absolutely safe around you. Come in. Look, I also made one for you. Am I supposed to wear that forever? Of course not. Only outside. Or if someone comes to visit. <laughs> when you're alone, there's no need for it. I don't want a special outfit. I don't need anyone! <laughs> I thought when you had extraordinary abilities, people would adore you. That's not how it is. They want to put you in a space suit. I only wanted to be helpful. <laughs> it's me, Wally. I know you weren't expecting me. Here. They're beautiful! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Dear me. Are you okay? No, everything's fine. I think I feel... Extraordinary. <laughs> Boy, Hen sure has been real sad lately, you know. Mm. What is bothering you, oh saddened one? Oh, uh, my BB has disappeared once again. No letters or no telegrams either. I'm worried something might have happened to him. It's amazing how insensitive young people can be sometimes. Where is their gratitude? Where is their loyalty? <sighs> what are you gonna do? That's just the way they are. You know, when you were designing BB, you failed to take into account the most important thing, and that's his sense of loyalty. <sighs> but how is one supposed to take that into account? What do you mean, how? It's an extremely vital part of the process. A creation's heartfelt loyalty is the first thing a true creator has to ensure. It's imperative. Talk is cheap, you know. <laughs> Been doing it yourself. Now that's a different story. <laughs> Okay, I see. Yes, I shall try and succeed too. I'll show them what a true creator is capable of. Phew. And now for the most important element of all, loyalty. Now then, get the most important element of all right, and the creation will never forget its creator. We're in the epicenter of a thunderstorm. If this storm holds out a bit longer, the lightning bolts will do their work. More, more, more power! I did it! 
I really did it! It's alive! Alive! <laughs> hey, Darko! Darko! Open up! Come on, it's me! Ah, Barry, there you are. Is something wrong? Well, I thought I'd see if you want to go fishing. Yes, very thoughtful of you. Uh, thank you, dear fellow. Uh, perhaps some other time. Is there someone in there? Oh, nobody. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Uh, no one. Well, ain't that a stinger? Change your mind. You know where to find me. No, no, that's hot. No, no, don't touch that. Hey, stop playing with that. Stop. Stop. This thing never works. Huh? Oh, hi, Adako. Oh, Barry, save me, please. I did everything according to the ancient books, word for word, and I was able to bring him to life. But I'm afraid I put a little too much feeling into it. His loyalty is overwhelming. He won't leave me alone, even for a second. No, oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Listen, I was able to lock him up for now, but it won't be too long before he breaks free and he'll come for me. He'll want to play. I knew it. He's here already. Uh, it could just be a small draft. Uh, okay, a large draft. Oh, please don't let him hurt us. Don't let him hurt us. Don't let him hurt us. Shh. Do you hear anything? Just you. Uh, where is that? Uh, that, uh, thing? Look. There. Let me ask you, you make him out of clay? Well, that explains it. <laughs> the thing is, you just forgot to fire it first, that's all. Clay things have to bake in an oven thingy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a really good thing that you aren't a potter. I already repaired the walls. Now I just gotta hang a new door. There must have been an error in the calculations. Maybe loyalty isn't really the most important thing. The most important... That's it. Independence! The most important element is independence! Why do we need a robot again? Why? Because it'll do all our chores for us. Do you like doing housework? No. Well, it will do all our housework for us. It will do the dishes, the dusting, the mopping, the laundry... So you think Pin might have already built one? Of course he built one, because it's a great idea. I would have built one myself, but as you know, that's not my thing. I'm more into being brainy. Pin! Huh. Could he be sleeping? No one's here. Hmm. 
where did he go? You know what's really weird? When I come to surprise him, he's never here. You know, where does he go when he's not with us? You see that on the wall there? Something here is not right. I think we should... Uh, crash? Crash? What could this be? It's clear to me. What? Well, how can it look clear to you? It looks like a bunch of weird marks on the ground. It's clear Pin's been kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped by Martians! <laughs> You were a m m m m Martian, like the one running around in your yard as we speak. Nope, that's not a Martian. It's more of a mechanical nanny that I built for you. You know, someone to take care of you. But it turns out that it's too caring, aggressively caring. But you should still take it. Just don't mention I'm in here. No, let me go. I don't want that. No. That's just Chico. Don't let me go. Chico? Please. Let me go. Stop. No, I don't want it. I'm not hungry. No. You and I have to rescue him. There is no way he can take much more. I told you I'm not a baby. I don't need a diaper. Hey, I am babysitter. I'm a baby. Don't you want to take care of me? Thank you very much. Our plan works perfectly. <laughs> This is the end for us. Her battery ran out. It's the end for her. <sighs> She's out of commission. Keep it like that. I still don't like housework, but I don't like robots either. You know, I've been thinking that maybe we don't need a robot. Aren't we able to do everything ourselves? Well, of course we can. We might not like to cook or clean, but robots can be a lot of work, too. You need to change their oil, change their batteries, and if they get a glitch... Then who knows what'll happen? It's true! Well, my friends, as they say, all is well that ends well. <laughs> Thank you.